We're here at Absolute Battle 7 in Dallas, Texas with Arcade UFO's owner, Ryan Fubarduck Harvey, Red Bull's very own Daryl Snake Eyes Lewis, EG's very own Ricky Ortiz, long LPN win, the Hamad Akbar. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great too. Uh, Alex Myers, Arturo T.S. Sabin Sanchez, Antoine Alucard Ortiz to my left here. How's the tournament been for you so far? So far, so good. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Hanging in there. Uh, it's going pretty great right now. I'm sitting top 32 winners. Just waiting for my next match. You've been coming to this tournament for a few years now, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I've, I've, uh, I think the first absolute battle was about uh, three years ago. And I won most of the ones I came to. So. All right. You have won most of the ones you came to. How confident are you in this one? You know, people have been thinking you've been struggling a little harder in Street Fighter V due to Zangief's nerves and the A-frames lag. How do you feel today? Well, I mean, I'm still learning like everyone else, but I feel like, you know, this might be a good one for me. I feel like I have a, a, a pretty good chance of winning, but we'll, we'll see. Who in this tournament are you scared to face or just don't want to face for any reason? So uh, I'm a little concerned about Alucard. He's in my pool and he plays Birdie, a character who I don't think is a bad matchup for Mika, but who I personally have a little bit of trouble with. Who do you think would be the scariest person to fight in this tournament? I mean, Snake Eyes looks pretty scary. You know, he's big, he's tall. Where's the Red Bull cap? That, that bull is scary, man. Like, he's like, you know, like a Taurus. I think he's pretty scary. <laughs> Who are you most scared to face? Um, let's see. I don't, I don't really want to fight against F Champ. You know, Dawson Gee, it's just not, it's not a great match. Who scares you on your path to winning? Only Ricky Ortiz. Ricky Ortiz. Ricky Ortiz. Ricky Ortiz, okay. It's been a pretty common answer. I could definitely say I don't sleep on anybody I play for sure, but other than that, I'm not really scared of anybody. Hmm. I kind of don't like playing F Champ, and I don't like playing Deuce Mika. If I can avoid those two, I think I'll do pretty well. Now, what's the opposite? Who, who is scared of Antoine? Um, I will probably say any Ken players and any Mika players. Any Ken players and any Mika players. You already sent uh, Fubarduck to his grave, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who shakes in their boots when they have to fight Ryan Fubarduck Harvey? Um, so if there's one person in this tournament who probably doesn't want to play me, I would say it's probably Ricky. You think it's Ricky? Why is it Ricky? Uh, Ricky just got demolished last week by Deuce Mika, and me and Deuce share a lot of tech together, so... Who gets terrified at the thought of playing versus Hamad, even in Street Fighter V. Justin Wong, free. Justin Wong? Justin Wong. Like, oh, he didn't even come because you were? Justin Wong didn't even get on this. He's not even in Texas, dude. He's like, Hamad? Nah, man. Nah. And who does not want to fight you based on the past, the present, and what's going to be the future? Oh, um, oh, hopefully anybody that's not a sponsored player from Cali. <laughs> I mean, I hope so. I feel like Knuckle Dude doesn't want to play against me, you know? Or I feel like he would prefer not to come across me, uh, just to, you know, make things easier. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. That's just the way I feel, you know? Who's got a history with you that is not positive or that you just know as a Kami player you're going to wreck that matchup? I like any Ken player. Like, any Ken player, I feel the most comfortable playing Ken. So I can't really name a certain person that would be scared to play me, but, uh, yeah. Who is most scared of Ricky Ortiz? Who do you know you just own their soul 100%? Uh, I don't know. I, I would say Knuckle Dude because he calls me his demon. Yeah, so he gets really happy whenever he beats me. But other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody, not that I know of. And then the last question would be, who, when you look around this room, is the most overrated player at Absolute Battle 7? Donkey. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. When you look around this room, who is the most overrated player at Absolute Battle 7? Overrated? Uh. Gotta look around, don't you? <laughs> um, that's a really good question. Wow. Uh, well, what a what a question. Ooh, that's a really tough one, man. You know, like everyone's everyone's pretty solid. Um, I was I would have to say most of the Chun Li players. Most of the Chun Li players, because all Chun Li players have that as a crutch, right? <laughs> Every Chun Li player, like you can't tell if they're good or not. You know, <laughs> it's really so hard. So we're gonna go with Ricky Ortiz is the most overrated. <laughs> I don't know, me. <laughs> you know it's not you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm too, I'm too nice to say. Who at Absolute Battle Seven is the most overrated player? Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't. <laughs> Overrated. I, I'm not K-Brad. I'm not K-Brad. I'm not going to say anyone's overrated. I like everyone equally, so no. 
I am definitely the most overrated player in Able 7. You gotta blow someone up right now. I know you do it all the time. All right, so I'll say me. I'm, I'm a fraud. I'm the most overrated player here. Say, oh, oh wait, I'm being, I'm being lame. Okay, Arturo's being lame, and he thinks he is the most overrated player at AB7. Who is the most overrated player at Absolute Battle 7? Anybody who's playing Mika. Anybody who's playing Mika. All right, so Fubar Duck. <laughs> now, obviously, Ricky is not the most overrated player at this tournament. Who is? Well, I mean, I, I guess I would say it's LPN because LPN uses Alex, and Alex can't win. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Who is the most overrated player at Absolute Battle 7? And I know you refused to answer this question once before, but I'm going to put you on the spot again. There's got to be someone who you thought of right away. I know there is. The most overrated person at Absolute Battle 7. You've uh, seen this dude win on stream and you're like, I would beat him. Free. Uh, you hear his name get talked about and you're like, nah. Not that guy. I would have to say LPN. Overrated. Who do you watch win and you think that you would just body them free? Man, Long, you beat me? But son, son, see me like in in a real game, you know what I mean? Like So LPN? Checkers? Chess? Ping pong, man, did you watch the Olympics? Ping pong. He can't beat me. Ping -pong. LPN cannot touch Hamad in ping pong. Who is most scared of LPN? Whose number do you have here and they don't want to fight you at all? Everyone. Everyone doesn't want to fight LPN. You know, it actually does seem that way uh, from what we've been talking about up here.